Hey everyone, Laser Dave here again with TroTech Laser. Here to answer the question, can you laser it? Have you ever seen a logo or text projected with light onto the wall or floor? This is called a gobo, and I want to know if it's possible to create these with a laser system. Let's find out. I have ordered this inexpensive $65 gobo projector from Amazon to see if this process will work. To start, I will remove the gobo holder inside the projector, designed to work with thin plastic films. My goal is to replace this entire holder by creating a laser cutout that matches by measuring and reproducing the outline in my graphic design software. Once completed, it will look like this. This design can now be converted into a laser engrave and cut gobo to fit this projector. A transparent plastic coated with only one side will be necessary for this process to work, such as painting one side of clear acrylic. For this test, I will use Trolay's Reverse Plastic. This is a stock, laserable, transparent plastic with a coating on one side. This material will produce a clear window and allow light to pass through when that coating is removed with the laser, and should also work for this gobo application. I will load the Trolay's reverse plastic into my Speedy 360 80 watt laser using the wide mouth air nozzle. Then I will focus a standard 2 inch lens onto the plastic surface. In Ruby, import or drag the graphic into the software. Then snap the design to the red laser pointer. I will now bring in the Trotec logo for this first test, adjusting the size and snapping it to the center of the design. I will use the standard materials database parameters for Trolay's reverse and then push the design to the laser. Push start on the laser and laser process the coating from the clear plastic and cut the outline design. This has produced a perfect engraved window and cutout that should match the bracket that came with the gobo projector I ordered. The finished results have produced a perfect looking effect that should only allow the light to pass through where the laser removed the black coating. Now to test to see if the sample will work. Open the projector and place it onto the pins and then turn on the light. It looks excellent so far. Close the gobo projector and focus it. Success! This process seems to work very well, proving that a gobo can be lasered. Now I want to see if a more detailed graphic will work. I will attempt this tiger image using the same settings as the first try. As you can see, the tiger image engraved perfectly, like the logo before. Placing this new example onto the gobo projector, you can see the tiger image work very well, proving that even the small details are possible. Now, I like to push the limits, so what about a photograph? I will take this photo of me and place it onto the gobo outline. Invert the picture, then engrave with the same procedure as before, with only one difference. In this case, I will engrave with two passes on the laser so that every dot in the photo allows the light to come through the plastic. There we have it. Laser Dave converted onto a gobo and projected onto the wall. Testing has conclusively confirmed that it is possible to produce an effective laser process gobo from basic logos to photographic quality. If you have any questions or ideas on something you would like to see me try and laser, please let me know in the comments section below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to see what I laser next. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.